Hello everyone and welcome to Project Plant Based. We believe that the climate has always seemed to come second best to many things such as money and Covid. This has happened everywhere including in school and we need to remember that both the climate and Covid are as important as each other. Our project will aim to encourage as many people and schools as possible to reduce their meat intake for the sake of the environment as we believe this is the fastest way to make a difference. Myself, Orla and Esme all enjoy going on walks, watching the birds and even just sitting outside. And we know that it's vital to act now in order to make a difference so we can all keep enjoying our great outdoors this way. It's important to remember that the small changes can make the biggest difference and that if we all band together to make lots of small changes in our diet, we can change the world. For example, with the amount of meat that the average family of four consume, they release 60,000 grams of carbon dioxide into our atmosphere, which is then causing the greenhouse effect. Ola will now go over this in further detail. Switching diets is faster and more affordable than switching energy resources, and simple changes can be made in everyday life, such as switching to oat or almond milk. If not, you could switch mincemeat to green lentils in recipes such as spaghetti bolognese. Whatever you choose to switch to, it will not only have benefits for your health, but for the health of your planet too. It's an issue that can be helped by everyone. After looking through lots of menus of catering companies across Wales, we noticed a recurring theme of meat not just on the menu weekly, but daily. And this is a perfect example of an unsustainable diet. Eating meat daily is only going to make the situation regarding climate change worse, whereas having more plant-based foods um, will impact a lot. I'm not a vegan, I'm not vegan or vegetarian, but I still have days of the week where I do not eat any meat. Keeping soil clean is another reason to reduce your meat intake. Animal agriculture weakens and exhausts the fertile fertile soil by being one of the main causes of worldwide deforestation. Meanwhile, planting trees can reduce the, effects of, reduce the effects of nutrition draining by purifying and cleaning the soil for a more sustainable agriculture. You don't have to be vegan, vegetarian or pescatarian. Just avoid the products of meat every now and then and it will make all the difference. We fully understand that the idea of going plant-based might not be appealing, and that's okay. We also understand lots of people can't go plant-based for health reasons. You don't have to go completely plant-based, and like Eva previously said, small changes make all the difference. Inspired by the creators of the Bosch cookbook, we've decided a great way to reduce emissions is by having meat-free Mondays in schools across Wales. Meat-free means meat-free. We've heard there are some politicians watching, but there are no loopholes in this one. We ask that school catering companies use this as an opportunity to correct the damage their company is having on our planet by switching their menus for just one day a week. It really is that easy. We truly believe that going plant-based is the best way to cut back on carbon dioxide emissions. Meat-free Mondays are as simple as it sounds. One day a week in schools across Wales, we would go completely plant-based and avoid any animal products. In short, eat plants for the planet. This is our call to action, and we couldn't put it any clearer. Go, go more, more plant-based plant for the planet. planet.